Hello mga kamam sirs, welcome again to our YouTube channel BE Tutorials. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button para lagi kayong updated sa aming mga videos. For this session, we'll be having the quantitative research and I'll be share with you the characteristics, strengths, weaknesses, and kinds of quantitative research. Now na! So first, the characteristics of quantitative research involves being focused primarily on numbers since uh, more often than not, in quantitative research, we use statistical formula. So quantitative uh, research is also often associated with identifying and explaining causal relationship between events in research. Uh, we call this as variables or uh, we can also characterize quantitative research by being aspired for objectivity. So later we'll compare different characteristics of quantitative and qualitative research. So to continue, the characteristics of quantitative research also involves analysis of numerical data as it seeks for accuracy in measurement and analysis of target concepts. So one thing that uh, separates quantitative from qualitative research is being not based on mere intuition and uh, guesses. Although I'm not saying that qualitative research are always based on intuition and guesses. So here is a table that will compare the qualitative research and quantitative research. So let's have first the purpose for qualitative. It is used to interpret social interaction. While for the quantitative research, the purpose is to test hypotheses on cause or effect and relationship. In terms of participants, qualitative research involves smaller number of participants while in quantitative research, we have to have a larger number of participants. Now, in terms of variables, so qualitative has a deeper investigation on variables while the quantitative research has a wider scope when investigating variables. Another main point to consider to characterize quantitative research in comparison to qualitative research is in terms of data. So first, qualitative research uh, deals with data involving words, narratives, images, objects, while quantitative research are more on numerical data. In terms of instrumentation, qualitative research uh, uses interviews, focus group discussions, observations, field notes, journals, and open-ended questions. While for quantitative research, we often use scales, survey questionnaires, and other precision or graded instruments. So the analysis for quantitative is often thematic, while the analysis for uh, quantitative is statistical, or we use statistical treatment. For qualitative, uh, in terms of views and biases, we often see qualitative as to be being subjective, while for quantitative, it is uh, objective. The results of qualitative research are less generalizable or less applicable to other groups. So this is in terms of being generalizable. While for quantitative research, the results is uh, easily to be generalized or it could be applicable to other groups. That's why it's uh, for quantitative research, these are all, uh, sometimes uh, being replicated. So the method of analysis for qualitative research is bottom-up or inductive where you first gather the specific uh, details to come up with a general theme. For quantitative research, it is the other way around. So it is top-down or deductive where there's first a general concept and then we go to the specifics. In uh, participant behavior, qualitative research is seen to be dynamic and more on being personal. 
optimal for quantitative research, participant behavior is predictable and group. So it could be related into the results because uh, the results of qualitative research are more on being contextualized and depends on the situation or the scenario where such a person is involved. While the results for quantitative research is generalized. For the view of reality, qualitative uh, research sees multiple views while quantitative research uh, gives single view. It doesn't mean that a uh, singular view for quantitative research means that you've just uh, gathered a single point of view but it means that the point of view uh, given is from a group as a uh, single unit. So other uh, suggested readings for the characteristics of quantitative research are the following. Proceeding with uh, the strengths of quantitative research. So quantitative research designs are uh, easy to analyze. So data can be reliable, precise, and consistent because uh, it focuses on numbers just like what we have uh, discussed earlier that Quantitative research is not uh, merely based on uh, biases or intuition. So the findings, again, of quantitative research can be generalized, of course, if it is well designed. And we could use sample as a representative of the population. So again, quantitative research is objective and unbiased. It uh, could be replicable or replicated. And quantitative research can cater a huge amount of data. Data or specifically numerical data through the use of statistical software such as SPSS, SSB, and others. However, though it has uh, strengths, it also has weaknesses such as it requires or it requires large number of participants and the results are rarely contextualized to individual scenario since the results of qualitative or the quantitative research are more on being generalized. So also quantitative research is prone to guest answers so there are times that the respondents uh, when you use a Likert scale type of instrument, they just put a check mark without reading the statements. So, quantitative research may also render incomplete data or answers from participants. Uh, sometimes uh, other participants or research participants just skip the, some statements. And quantitative research covers limited point of views and it could be costly. So, what are the kinds of quantitative research? So, it could uh, be based on application. So, it uh, could be a pure research or an applied research. When it comes to objectives, it could be exploratory, descriptive, correlation, or explanatory. While the specific types of research designs could be uh, grouped into two. First, the experimental research designs. It involves true experimental, quasi-experimental, and pre-experimental. While the non-experimental involves descriptive. So more on this kinds of research design will be tackled on our, our video later on. So that's it. The quantitative research design, the characteristics, strengths, weaknesses, and kind. So again, this is Sir Econ, your tutor for this session. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and good luck. Happy researching!